What is up YouTube? It is a new day. Um, it's actually day number one of hashtag dream code. If you saw my last video that should go live, I think it's going live this morning or tonight. I forgot what time I scheduled it to go live today. But today is day number one of dream code where you're making an effort to study at least a minimum of one hour of code every single day. Monday to Friday. For me personally, I'm not going to do it on Saturday, Sundays. For, so for me, I'm going to make sure I study code at least two to three hours a day. But at least a minimum of an hour a day, Monday to Friday. Make sure you stay consistent. Make sure you progressively get better in code all the time and man why are these planes so loud <laughs> and I'm gonna go ahead and go to the gym real quick and I'll be right back so let's go ahead and get on the road I just realized I forgot to do an intro we'll do my b-roll after the intro <laughs> alright guys um, I just got off work all right, I'm not gonna lie, man. I didn't go to the gym. <laughs> I literally, um, I don't know. I, I'm kind of out of it right now. Dang, man. I was literally driving to the gym um, during my lunch break, and um, as I was driving, I just kind of felt out of it. I, I think it's because it was probably hot. It's, the first, it's actually pretty hot right now in California. It hasn't been this warm in a long time, and guess what? The air conditioning in my car doesn't work. And I was like, I don't know if I want to do it. So I just drove back to work, got there early, ate my lunch, and just went back to coding. <laughs> but um, yeah, man, kind of out of it right now. Yeah. So I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. But I will code. I'll make a time. Yeah. Money ain't enough for you. Yeah. Look what it's done to you. Everyone's people that were down when I was nothing. Try to talk about it. what you gotta say to me. I am not. I got this picture in my closet It's gathering dust right now And the edges have been folded once or twice It doesn't look the same no more Cause the sun has made it pale I used to have it hanging on my wall some time ago Picture of you All right, guys, what's up, everyone? <laughs> I am on my lunch break right now. It is the following day. I hope you like that epic drone footage. Yeah, I'm on my lunch break. I have a really, really bad headache. It is bad, man. Um, and I'm assuming it's because I'm going all out, even that much more as a vegan, where I'm taking fried food completely out of my diet. Um, the only thing I'll get close to that is um, chipotle. I'm not, I don't think any of this stuff is fried. Yeah, nothing's fried there. Uh, maybe there's some oil in there, but it's literally just pure vegetables. If you want to see what I've been eating the last couple of days or today alone, you can check out my IG stories at the end of this video and follow me on Instagram if you want to check that out. Yeah, so uh, what I want to talk about today um, is why I will never, ever, ever, ever work for Google. Wait, Chris, what are you talking about, man? Why would, wait, wait, what do you mean? Dude, Google is like the dream job for all developers around the world. That is true for people who have never gotten an industry yet, or maybe for those who are small people like me, right? I wanna talk about that. From what I know now, and from what where I wanna be a couple years from now, this is why I don't ever really ever want to work for Google. And I'll talk about it right now. Uh, well, number one, I know what it is that I want to do, where I want to be. To tell you the truth, if I worked at Google and I was a YouTuber, my channel would be blowing up right now. Why? Simply because everyone wants to work there as a developer, right? Or a lot of people do. But why, honestly, I don't want to work there, <laughs> I know where it is that I want to be as a programmer, where I want to be in regards to skill. I do have some friends who work at Google. They work at Google in the Irvine, um, California location. And I was asking them, you know, man, that's amazing. You went to USC, you got hired by Google right after. Before you even graduated, they hired you, they took you in, um, and now you're working there full time and they're making like $130,000 a year, extremely good benefits. They seem like to be living the life. And when they told me the reality, man, I was honestly proven wrong. Now, granted, they did get a bonus where it would help them literally pay off their entire loan instantly when they joined the company. But let me tell you what they told me and what they told me back and why I should not work at Google, especially as a self taught developer. Um, now, the, now here you go. Number one, the number one reason I think a lot of people do want to work at Google is mainly because of their pay. For engineers working at Google, developers make honestly hundred thousand, hundred twenty. Actually, nowadays probably one hundred fifty, hundred sixty thousand dollars a year. 
which is insane. But the reason to also pay that much at Google in what uh, in um, uh, Silicon Valley is also because, man, the cost of living is crazy. Just to live, rent out an apartment could cost anywhere between five to ten thousand dollars a month. That's like for what a one or two bedroom apartment. That is crazy. Another reason why I wouldn't want to work at Google is because honestly, they're a mega company. Uh, for someone like myself, I grew up working in a family business. As of right now, I work for a small company here in Southern California. And you know, I, I like the family atmosphere that we have at the company, but working for a big gigantic company where people barely know each other, where it's so competitive to the point that sometimes you won't even get acknowledged for the work you do because of how big the company is. And by working at a big company, so a lot of the times when you are working in a project, what happens with that project is that it actually doesn't even get pushed out. No one even sees the work that you do. Uh, unlike where I work now at my company, working at the company I do, and I do love my job to be honest, and I really, I generally do. I mean, I tell my boss that all the time. I mean, I love working here. And I tell my friends all the time as well. And the reason is because, you know what? the products that we're given here, it will go live and everything I work on, the whole world will see. And not just that, I have the ability not to just stick to one stack, like the LAMP stack, or you know, stick to only Python or PHP, but I have the ability to work with Vue.js, Angular, you know, and PHP at work. And not just that, I'm even even able to like, we might even implement some React to the stuff that we're doing now. And because I work at a small company, I have the ability to really grow exponentially as a developer. And I think right now, as us, we who are self-taught developers, our main goal, our main priority, it shouldn't be just to make a lot of money right away, which is the, of course everyone's goal, but you want to make sure that as a developer, that your life as a programmer, that you know your lifespan as a programmer, your usefulness, your value as a programmer could last as long as possible. And the one way that you do that is that within your first, what baby steps you take as a programmer in the first couple of years, for me it's been two to three years now, um, for me, just to being able to grow in many different ways in back-end development, front-end development, and the fact that you know sometimes it's slow at work and I'm able to study code at work, and things like that, especially with my busy schedule, is so beneficial. Um, the company is really cool, and you know, working at a big company, a lot of things are very like, you know, it has to be done this way or else no. But at my company, you know, sometimes I'll tell them a week in advance and I need a day off on this day. Sometimes I'll tell them a couple days in advance. I don't give them too much time in advance, or unless they have to work from home, and they're totally fine with that. And I, I, you know, and I say this all the time, but yes, the perks for being a developer are huge, but not all big companies offer those perks. Now, you have to be honest. Working at Google, you have big perks like, for example, you know, you have the free food, you have the laundry. If Silicon Valley wanted to hire me to go to, over there, I would not even take it, no matter how much they paid me, because this is my home, right? And so it's not always just about working for that company, but really, as a self-taught developer, at least for myself, the company I want to work for is the company that'll help me grow as much as possible, and that's the company I'm working at right now. Now, last but not least, I know this video might be going a little bit long, and so I want to end it with this. The biggest reason, and one of the biggest things, other than, you know, taking care of my health and pay, of course, better life. The reason I wanted to become a developer is because I really saw that developers get to have a great working life balance. But when you work at Google, that doesn't exist. Um, the re and correct me if I'm wrong. If you work at Google, let me know in the comment section below. Like from what I know from my friends and what they told me is that um, the culture at Google is that you have to work a lot. You literally, the reason they have all these perks in the office, you know, massage, people who massage you, they even have doctors at the office, you know, what, you, you, know you can get all your food on campus. You don't have to leave the campus to go anywhere. They have all these amazing things because the goal at Google is that they want to keep you there as long as possible. You are paid a salary as an engineer. I don't think they're paid hourly. <laughs> they're paid, uh, you know, they're paid the salary and their goal is to keep you there at the company as long as possible and what I mean by company they want you to work as many hours as possible a day to get as much code as done as possible per day but for me the reason I went into coding was so I could have a good work-life balance and I honestly have that I have my life at work where I work and I code all day but when I'm outside doing YouTube or things with church or whatever my family I'm able to have that work and life balance and not many people around the world can actually honestly have more than money, more than just having the best perks at company, the most important thing is being, be, knowing that you're able to live the life that you love. And for me, it's to be able to do what I love, which is code, but even do what I love outside of work as well, um, which is I can enjoy time with family. I don't have to worry about money. I can go to movies if I want to. I don't mind eating out. I can afford it fairly easy. And doing these things I'm able to do when I love like YouTube and not stress so much about work and deadlines as much as if you were at Google, it's such a huge blessing to, it, it's such a huge like relief to me. Now I'm not saying I don't like those things. I like deadlines. I'm very competitive at work. I want to be the best at work. I want to get things done as fast as possible at work because I want to show my value, show my value to them and even show how valuable I can be to my own self as well. 
right? And so these are one of the reasons why I don't ever want to work at Google, why I would never take a job at Google, and why if I ever was, I wouldn't say that for the long term anyway. Now, if Facebook was to hire me, that would be a totally different question, and I'll talk about that in another video. <laughs> but anyway, I need to head out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, this is Krishan. This is Life of a Developer, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out. What is up? Instagram. It is about almost 1 a.m., man. Late at night. Exhausted. But I still have to code. I made a promise to study code at least an hour a day, every day until Friday. So, hashtag code.